Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today, I'm gonna share with you a technique for making dinosaur fossils. These are super fun if you're gonna have a dinosaur party or if you're doing a dino study. And we are going to be making them out of plaster of Paris. And this is my dinosaur fossil. And I'm gonna teach you how to make one right now. For this project, you will need Ziploc bags, scissors, dino skeletons or toys, plaster of Paris, water, a tongue depressor, paintbrush, deli containers, food coloring, small cups, and some of the following, either sand, Play-Doh, or Sands Alive. So I'm gonna show you three different ways so one of the ways is to take some sand, and these are just like small deli containers. And I'm gonna take sand and just fill the bottom about halfway. And then I'm gonna use a gouache and some water and just get this slightly wet. This is Sands Alive, um, also known as like kinetic sand. Um, it is a sand product that will hold its shape, and so it makes a great base for making impressions. I'm just gonna spread that out along the bottom. And then the third version, which I seem to find, I think, leaves the best impression, and that is Play-Doh. And so this is some homemade Play-Doh. I've got these great little dino skeletons that I got. I got these from Oriental Trading and they just make great impressions. But you could use anything that you have. You could use dino toys, you could use little skulls, you can use skeletons, whatever you got. And I'm just gonna place it in here and then pull it out. And with my tongue depressor, if I end up having like a little catch there like I did on the on the leg, I can just kind of use the tongue depressor to push it back a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing here in the sand. Now all of these are going to get filled with plaster pairs. I'm just going to do one of them. But I found that the easiest way is to take four ounces of plaster of Paris and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to take two ounces of water. Then you can seal the bag. Try to get the air out of there. And then just smush it around. And what's great is because it's in a Ziploc bag, you can really get in there and mix it. Tip it to the side and send all of that good stuff to the corner. And then pinch the corner that doesn't have any of the plaster of Paris in it, and take your scissors and give it a little snip. Then you take your plaster of Paris and you use it like you would icing from a piping bag, and you just use it to fill in your dino. Use your stick or tongue depressor to spread it out. Now, one thing that you might want to do to make sure that you don't get bubbles is take your whole deli container and tap it like this. Just give it a little tap, tap, tap. And you see those bubbles come into the top there? That's making sure, see that big one there? That's making sure that all of the plaster is getting down into your impression and not causing bubbles. I'm going to show you all three of the versions. So the first one we're going to start with is sand. And just turn it upside down, pop it out, and then we're just going to smoosh off all this sand. 
One thing that I have found with sand ones, I love the look of the sand ones when they're all done, but one thing that I have learned with sand is because the sand is wet, you really do want to give this extra drying time. And for this, you're going to want a, a nice brush, paint brush to get in there, and brush off all that excess. But there you go, you can see, see that dinosaur. See how cool that is? And it kind of looks like a real fossil because it looks like it's kind of embedded in the rock, which is kind of fun. So there you go, there's your sand one. And then this one is our sands alive. And once again, we turn it upside down and squeeze it. And then just break away all the extra sand alive. Now this one is going to be lighter in color. And truth be told, this is the one that I would be using my food coloring on. And I'll show you how, what we do with that, just to give it a little bit more of a definition. Because it's very, very pale, as you can see. But then I'll show you my last one, which is my favorite one, and that is the Play-Doh. Pop the Play-Doh out and peel away the Play-Doh. And look at that amazing imprint. Isn't that great? Now you can use, I have one of these little, this is just a little tiny screwdriver and I can come back into the screwdriver and pull out that excess that's around it, or I can leave it, depending on what look I want. But I just love the impression that I get from, uh, from that Play-Doh. It's just really cool and really solid. And um, as I said, if you wanted to, because you've got, you've got the sands alive here, if you wanted to add just a little bit of food coloring to it, you can. And I usually just take, I've got this uh, caramel colored food coloring. I just put a little bit of that into a bowl and then just touch it up on the places where the bones would have been. And then I take a little water and mix in with the remaining here just to make a lighter version of it. And I know that doesn't look like it's that much lighter, but as you can see, as it's starting to seep in, it gets lighter. And this is a little tiny bit darker. And there you have it, a dinosaur fossil. Now, I do want to show you the other techniques. If you use sand, it'll kind of look like this when you're all done. Isn't that cool? You get this kind of sandy look to it. And if you make it with the play sand or the sands alive, you're gonna get something that looks kind of like this, kind of very, very, very soft. And my personal favorite is this one in which we used Play-Doh. And as you can tell, you can really get amazing definition with that one. So basically, you've got fossils three ways. For more fun ideas, check us out, sofa-world.com, and here's hoping that your fossil is fossilithic.